All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at the Playmobil Dinos Stegosaurus set. Now this particular one was released first in 2011 with this configuration. I bought it about a year ago and it was already on clearance sale to be discontinued from the official Playmobil online shop, at least in the US, so my apologies for how long it has taken me to get to this, but you'll still find some of these for sale new out there, and you know it's Playmobil, so they will bring things back as they always do. Let me give you a size reference for the adult Stegosaurus there, relative to just a regular figure. I like the body of this Stegosaurus, both in its shaping and its coloration. They have a lot of print for the sort of scaly details on the top with that kind of dark red maroon color. And I also really like how they spray, I believe spray painted the light tan from underneath to get this, this smooth transition, this smooth gradient. You can see how that looks like it's painted from under there and then, you know, it goes into this kind of pale, almost brick color, you know, kind of kind of reddish brick color. And then the spines up here, excuse me, the, the plates up here, uh, fleshy plates are soft. It's actually a rubber material and that's kind of dual molded in there. Also the spines on the tail and the tail itself, they're molded in with this whole row of the, the plates up above. And then the toes on this one are also dual molded into the the legs so you get that nice crisp differentiation of color between them also when you look here kind of at the beak at the mouth of it that's dual molded in so rather than being painted it's a separate uh, plastic there and also the eyes are inserted the eyes are a little bit creepy to me because they're just so bright that that green color is uh, I don't know it just seems a little bit too bright it makes it look almost like it's a a possessed dino or uh, you know like a zombie of some sort the head on this one is able to come up just to that far which i think is about appropriate maybe it would have gone just a little bit more than that but that's about it and then you know it's able to just go down to the ground it doesn't go quite all the way i wish it went all the way to the ground it's just uh i don't know, like an eighth of an inch off right there but you know being able to bring it all the way to the ground would have been nice to to get it directly on top of food and of course the the legs are able to you know, move forward and back so you can get it into a look so it looks like it's walking along yeah that's pretty good with the the angles of the the elbow joints if you will and knees on it yeah, yeah really nice sculpting with the the whole thing i think so this one is pretty nicely done looks pretty good on display i just don't like those eyes though this terrain scene that was included with this set is wonderful though. It's just so lush. It just packs so much foliage, so much life into a small space. I love the density of it. I like the variety of different types of plant life that are shown here. Some of them are recognizable from today. Some of them uh, do look a little bit more prehistoric in their design and they, they look pretty appropriate. You know, everything just kind of seems to fit in there. You got the little nest with three of these eggs and the eggs are hinged so you can close them up and you can hatch them open. So I had just one completely empty here and then you see one with the baby stegosaurus inside of it. I'll show you one of those out of that as well but that's actually a separate piece there, a separate piece of, of terrain. So if you want to separate these out, create an even larger scene, you can, or you know, just move things around. There's a little bit of space to hide things beneath here as well. So that becomes like a, a miniature cave or tunnel. Uh, and the, uh, especially like this, this asparagus relative back here, uh, horsetail style or bottle brush uh, plant, I think. And then uh, up here, you've got the, the semi-translucent uh, dragonfly, which is very pretty as well. And that is able to attach to any of those little miniature pegs that you see on some of the foliage pieces. Here's a closer look at one of the baby stegosauruses. <laughs> it's just a, a tiny little single piece, uh, single mold with a single color, and one of those will fit inside of each egg. So here's one that's cracking open, and they'll just hop on out and then this one actually has it fully closed in just so you can see that it does fit fully inside of there and those all have the exact same coloring between them and their size relative to the adult is absolutely tiny and that's actually 
pretty adorable. And I, I like and appreciate the fact that they didn't just take an adult Stegosaurus design and scale it down. You know, they actually soften things up and they just barely have little nubs for the plates to come up. So they, they actually look like they're babies and not just miniature adults. The last things in this set are two small lizards, which are done in a slightly off-white, almost a beige kind of color with dark red markings on the back and also for the eyes. And then this kind of purple caiman looking thing. Uh, I think that's just what it's intended to be, just a, a reptilian predator. I think the idea here is that the, the small lizards are just for decoration, you know, just additional life in the scene. But then the caiman looking thing would possibly be a danger to the baby. So it kind of adds some, some drama to the scene. You need to use the adult Stegosaurus to ward off potential attacks from this reptile here. It's really funny looking, this one with its its coloration with that, that off purple color with a lot of air actually in the mold to give it some, or in the plastic. It's kind of a, like a whipped plastic. Uh, to give it some extra texture but then they've got the I, I believe just hand applied green and and yellow dots on the back which is just very alien looking to me and there's there's minimal articulation with this one you can just open the the mouth and close it and that's just that and that's the set my sincere apologies for taking so long to get to this one it's actually really nice much nicer than i expected there's just so much extra stuff that comes with it, it almost looks like just from looking at the package that you would mostly get this and some of the other smaller animals but there's so much stuff shown in the background here from just the the main picture that it almost looks like the uh, you know, kind of just background detailing that they, they add to these photographs and these illustrations. But no, all that is included and it's it's very substantive and there's a lot that you can do with it. And there's so many individual actual animals included. Uh, they only show one of the, the lizards here, but there are two of those obviously. So yeah, this was a really good set. If you see it available for a cheap price and you like what you see, I think that you will like what you get even more than that. So that's it for my look at this one. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you again as soon as I can.